Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kiko's Quest, and wait last, we left off, we quite comprehensively explored all the screens that we can, and our inventory is a lot larger than it was before. We have art supplies, a portrait, and Stan's business card. And I think it's time for us to start solving some quests, beginning with this one that's a bit moon logic-y. I mean, how are you meant to know that you're to give art supplies to an encouragement bear. But it works! Whoa, for me? Now I can make my own art! I can do it! Yes, I can! Yay! Encouragement bear went over there! You can still sort of click if you want to. We should... We can head over that way! By the way, no more peril anymore. Maybe following a bear isn't a great idea. Yeah, we better leave them to their arting. You won't take me alive. Y y you can talk? Ah, my thanks for ridding me of that meddlesome bear, stranger. You're a bird, aren't you? Why didn't you just fly away? Yes, well, I could have left, but that would have meant that my precious assets would have been left unprotected. Yes. Assets? Yes. Inside this tree are secreted the plans my associates and I have for this land. Very big plans. Yes. Sounds nice. Sounds like a conspiracy. Yes. Regardless, I owe you a great debt for your aid. Please help yourself to a copy of the plans within this tree. There will be instructions within for sympathetic individuals to help seek us out. Cool! Thanks, be seeing you around then. Indeed you shall. Well, you be well, stranger. May the next time we meet be under more auspicious circumstances. Cool. Alright, what do we get? The Book of Secrets. It's a book. A perfectly ordinary book containing perfectly ordinary instructions on how to attend perfectly ordinary clandestine meetings. Ooh, okay. I feel like I know where we can use that. Not here. But if we go up here, I mean, someone's looking for secrets. Is it that point in the game when we start solving lots of puzzles? I think it is, because would you like a book of secrets? What's this? A book of secrets? Does that include the secret of Upside Down Egg Stew? It must! And it has instructions on how to find these secret keepers, too! Friend, let me buy this book off you. I'll give you this set of recipes and a thousand bells. Bells? Good for redemption at any Nook brand store or service. Uh, sure. Great, it's settled. I'm off on my next great adventure. Rune! Rune, get your boots out of that midden! We've got a new quest! Now, where did I leave my gear? Uh, you left it back in, uh, you know, that place you were in before. That's not accurate! So we have two new items, a bag of bells, a bag stamped with some sort of star symbol. Is this some sort of money? More importantly, we have recipe cards. Recipe cards are various foodstuffs, and even a couple of fudstuffs. Oh, oh no, 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 don't make the ones with fudstuffs. Don't make fudstuffs. More importantly, we have something of a famous figure, a portrait. We could totally give this to the Happy Boulder. I mean, look how happy they are. Also, I should say before I do this, you never know, it might go horribly wrong. All right. My Roly Rock compatriot, would you like this thing? Oops, I just dropped this photo of a historical figure. Clumsy me. Oh boy. Hey, there's a strange hole here. There's a hole over there in the grass, once occupied by the Happy Boulder. I'm gonna talk to it. I'm actually just gonna take what's in there. Cool, they hit a gumbler inside this hole. Avatar tax! A gumbler? Really? Need someone squished? Someone famous, perhaps? Not, not today. Do you want to be squished? No, I want to look at this item. Oh, is I think I know what that one is. Sweet, a gumbler for me to make later, and it's a good one! Oh, I hope it's a Zaku one, they're pretty cool! Okay, let us now go to Barbie. 
against our better judgment. And give her the eyelashes card. This game's much weirder than I remember it being. Who dares? Uh, oh, it's you again. I've got something for you. What's this? False eyelashes? What a delightfully evil idea. Eyelashes by Barbie. I'll make a fortune and inflict cruelty upon the world while staying on brand. Yes, this is indeed an adequate payment for Owen's debt. Consider him free. For now. As for you, such a thoughtful gift demands payment in kind. Take these. Thanks! Uh, what are they? Souls. Nice and fresh ones, too. Don't worry, I have plenty. Um, thank you? You're welcome. Don't you have anything better to be doing? So I got... A curse lifted and yeah that looks kind of horrifying souls souls good for all sorts of things you need to consult an expert for a list unfortunately I happen to be an expert hi I'm Rocket Jackie McGee guest starring in this game souls can be used for a variety of purposes they can be used to power your Byzantine rocket ship that goes through time they can also be used to power your howitzer pie making machine but most importantly, souls can be traded on the soul net, where you trade souls for higher value souls in a sort of risk reward thing. By the way, your capital is at risk if you choose to invest. If you put your souls in there, they may be gone forever. Now, if you don't mind, I I've got an important appointment that- No, no, wait, I I'm not done yet. Look, sir, I know I have to go and, and like, do thing, but I- no, What do you mean my time's up? Look, I put a whole shiny penny in here, and I'm gonna... Oh, that was strange. Anyway, let's keep going. More importantly, let us save before we go and talk to Owen. We have 78 points, by the way. 78 shiny awesome points. So, Happy Boulder has moved. <gasps> Hooray! I'm back to normal. Well, except for your hair. No, it's always like this. And here's your reward, Barbie's magic loot! Really? After everything you went through to get it? You bet, this experience has taught me that I don't need some fancy loot to play. Plus, it's made of willow wood, and I've had more than enough of that for a lifetime. Anyways, I'm free! I can do whatever I want! This kingdom mine, with my blood I've paid. Oh, so you're just gonna do exactly the same thing you were doing before. And hey, we have a magic loot! A loot! Hopefully I won't need to give anyone El Capong! Uh, let's talk to you, sir. This kingdom mine, with my blood I've paid, to guard against all who oppose her. That was beautiful. 200 sovereigns. Don't touch my hair. It doesn't like it. Yep. He's not a tree right now, even though the game says he's a tree. We have got what we need here, though. We have a loot. And now we can... Hmm. I suppose you could go give those recipes off to someone. We could do that. Uh, what's happening? The horrible goose grabs the Gumpler box away from you while you aren't looking. My Gumpler! No! You curse you, Lonk! I mean, Honk! Come back! No! Come back here, goose! Rats. You drove off that feathered beast. Thank you. Uh, yay? But I lost my gobbler. Oh, it's going to cost so much to get that back. If I even can. Thank you, stranger. You're very welcome, Mr. Uh, pig. I'm no ordinary pig. I was turned into a pig by a curse. Lots of those going around these days. My name's Orlando, friend and companion to Prince Goldhawk. Prince, you say? Is he around? With some riches to award people who help him out? No, he's between books currently. He told me to wait here until my next book's ready. He said he'd be back in a Karazan week. Well, he should be back soon then. Not really. Karazan week can last for a fairly long time. But if you're looking for a reward, I can do that. I pledge you my help if you ever need it. Great. What do you do? I can provide exposition! Well, Kavrik already does that for me. Anything else? I roll into things sometimes. If a dice rolls well... No, this isn't a dice-based game. 
Well, if you need anything, let me know. I'm gonna go hide somewhere else before that goose comes back. I hope Prince Goldhawk gets here soon. I'm starting to rust. Uh, tin doesn't rust. Oh. Well! Don't try to carry on, Lando. He'll get used to it and start asking you to do it all the time. That That is a good point. We, we don't want to do that. Well, we, we helped him out, and that, I suppose, is a good thing, but, uh... But what did that solve? What did that solve? I wonder... Is helping Orlando going to, in some obtuse way, help me get the thing from the straw? Yes, it is. Hello, King Kiko! It's me, Orlando! Yes, I remember. What do you think of my new hiding spot? You only moved two screens over. Yeah, I've got short legs, so I got tired of walking. Well, good luck with the hiding then. Wait, before you go, I found something neat in the hay pile. You could have it. What's this, a memory chip? What's this doing in a hay pile? I don't know. There were a few beetles protecting it, but they were no match for me. Well, thanks, Orlando. Yeah, that's kind of helpful. I hope Prince Goldhawk gets here soon. I'm starting to rust. Let's have a look at that computer chip. Hebo's memory chip does kind of look like a beetle. I guess that's why they grabbed it. Okay, so we now have items. Lots of items, in fact. We have a memory chip. We have recipes. We have money. We don't have anything for you yet, though. Hmm. Nothing for you yet. That said... I think maybe I can find something. Let's go solve a lot of puzzles, starting with here. Hi, Raz. Hey, how you doing? You seen Millie anywhere? Afraid not, but would you like this? That chip! That's Peepo's! I'd recognize it anywhere. Thank you so much for this! Before I was running around shouting for him because I thought he'd gone somewhere. Oh, was that why I could hear someone going, Peepo! Yup, yup, that's me! <laughs> that rascal Peepo. Can I have a tiny vest now? You sure can! No payment necessary. Peepo's back! Peepo! I'm glad for you. Stick around, and we'll have a celebratory party! Nah. Can I go back in? Can I talk to you again? Beepo! Yeah, that, that sounds like Raz. A warm and tiny vest. Good if the part of you that's cold is your shoulders. I mean, you're not wrong! Now let's go solve another puzzle. Now we don't have ham for him. But we do have recipes. Can I give him money? That's actually a good point. Could I just give you money? I doubt it. Nah, he doesn't want my money. He will want this, though. What's this? Recipes? Why, this is a recipe for ham? With this, I could make my own ham. All the ham I want? I'll corner the market. Old Dragon won't stand a chance! Uh, who? Oh, and, uh, another content creator, you wouldn't know him. No, I'm pretty sure I don't know. You wouldn't know him. Especially not his vast hordes of ham that I plan to steal. Don't tell him I said that. Too late. Darn. This is more than acceptable tender. Here you go. Everything you need to be a Pokemon trainer. Now, if that's all you need, please leave. I have things to do, you know. President and all that. Mmm, I can taste that ham already. I'm gonna go in. Locked. There's a faint smell of ham glaze coming through the door. Okay, he won't let me back in. Can I get into here, by the way? No! Game won't let me in there. So I now have... The Pokeball. Too bad there's no long grass in the entire kingdom due to graphical limitations. Oh, darn it! It's a PokeNav. The handy multi-tool that people add their phone numbers to without permission. I feel like I wasn't given anything really good there. I feel like I was actually given bad stuff as a reward, but I'll take it. Hang on. Pokeball, Pokemon trainer, suitable cover for Ariane, maybe? Would you like a Pokeball? What have you got there? A Pokeball? 
You're telling me that people wander around in all sorts of classified areas hunting Pokemon and taking money from their victims? And it's legal? That's perfect! My new cover story is all set! Ariane the Pokemon Trainer! I'll see you in the Pokemon League! Let me get your Pokenav number so we can keep in touch- Ariane, no! Your Pokenav has been updated- Ow! Not even in this game can I get away from that! Are you gonna pay me for that? Right, where did I put that unstable ordinance? Uh, never mind, I'm leaving now. But more importantly, there's a pie here. Old pies sit idly on the counter, waiting for somebody foolish enough to buy one. I, 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 I don't think I want to be buying one. While you're here, are you sure you do not want a pie? No, I, I do not want a pie. Oh, we have 123 points! That's my lucky number! And you know what, folks? I think we have everything we need! Oh, well, wait! There's one more thing we need to do! We have money! And we need to spend it! We need to get our fortune read! And I know exactly where we can do that! We can do that over with Katrina! She did want a thousand bells, and... As luck would have it, we now have a thousand bells! There's no goose here. One day, goose, I will get my Gumpla back! Alright. We'll save, just in case something goes horribly wrong. It probably won't. Have some bells. Very well. I will consult my crystal about that which you seek. Kiha moata. Kiha moluata. Namul as gusknak sela. Yee! Magic! <gasps> Hello, Avatar. You! I should have known! Yes, you should have. I mean, it was pretty obvious. But I didn't come here to squabble. No, I've come here to gloat. <laughs> I took your tacky castle and shrunk down everything inside. Then I put the whole thing into a bottle with INSUFFICIENT VENTILATION! I'd say the inhabitants probably only have a limited time before they run out of oxygen. Unless you surrender to me before that happens. This is an event-driven game, Guardian. There's no timer. W what Really? Drat. Well, no matter. If I find myself growing impatient, then I guess I'll eventually feed your people to my cat. It's Tangy! Oh, you want a lick? Oh, I mean, behold! Anyway, I, I've got to be going now. Things to do. I look forward to your unconditional surrender. Farewell, Avatar. Bye, Geek! Next time, please don't use my crystal ball for things you could use a phone for. Thank you for your business. I didn't have a phone! Not my problem. May my crystal guide you. So, we now know who's responsible for this. Surprising absolutely everyone, it's that pesky guardian. And the worm guard, Tangy. Who probably is just being manipulated with the promise of glitter glue and ice lollies. I'm sure we can get her on side eventually. But you know what we need to do at some point? It's pretty urgent. But at some point, we need to get past that Corandian Squirrel. And, and we've got a lot of stuff. I... Ooh, can't actually go that way. I think we can get there. I, I think we can figure it out. Maybe we can go this way. Can we go this way? The answer is... Yes, we can! And so we are back here with that pesky squirrel. And so, when we come back, folks, armed with... A paper cup, some souls, a magic loot, the tiny vest, and our Pokenav that has one number in it. We will defeat that Corandian Squirrel. We will defeat that Corandian Squirrel. And do a fantastic job doing so. I'm sure it'll be an epic battle for the ages! It, it probably won't be. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. When we come back, more adventuring! More delving down memory lane as we continue to play an incredibly old and absolutely 100% accurate playthrough 
of said incredibly old game that everybody knows. Because everyone knows this game, right? Everyone does. Right? Right? Also, thank you, Aeon Tall, for making this game. It's absolutely fantastic and amazing and brilliant. I, well, I, what happened there? That was just the wind! Ah, funny these things get picked up by the mic. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Line up.